Hello everybody, so I'm here in Milton Keynes at the simulator for a couple of days. Some work here to do after so many races in a row. And uh, so today I'll take you through races in Spa, Monza and Mugello. Uh, starting with Spa, uh, I think uh, it was overall a solid weekend. Uh, just a shame not to score points, finishing just one position behind. Uh, points P11 was quite uh, frustrating race where we maybe missed a little bit some opportunities with the uh, with the tires strategy but nevertheless uh, it was a strong you know qualifying and race yeah qualifying lap it felt quite good because that track is very you know cool with formula one cars incredible speed incredible uh, accelerations through the uh, second sector so i really enjoyed that one very much also coming to monza uh, it was uh, it was a home race for the team, so it's great to be back in Italy. Good food, good weather, and uh, uh, a lot of sunshine. Then, uh, about the race, I think in quality it felt quite quite good. It was P11, and it was a very promising position for the race, because then I had the free choice of tyres. And uh, I opted to start with the hardest compound, uh, the most risky one, but at the same time could be most rewarding one and the start went well I kept my position it was looking like a strong race and then uh, uh, my pace was good and then the safety car and the red flag came out and uh, uh, to some drivers it was uh, very helpful to some drivers not so much in my case it, it really kind of uh, ruined my race and uh, threw me back a few positions so I had to start all over again However, then finishing in the ninth place, it was uh, quite a good effort and I was quite happy with this. And of course, uh, the cherry on the top was that, uh, uh, not cherry on the top, but uh, yeah, the, the, the main moment of the day was that the, the team and Pierre, they won the race. So it was fantastic uh, for the whole team. Uh, everyone was very happy and uh, it was great points also for the team. Going on to Mugello. Mugello again, Italian race. I'm very happy always to race in Italy because I did so much karting in Italy when I was young and I grew up in Italy. So for me, I always felt like at home all the time. And uh, the track looked amazing. Very, very fast corners, very enjoyable sections to drive. Especially the second sector looked incredible with all these really high speed corners. And in fact, it was really cool to drive on. Then, uh, then going into the... Um, uh, into the qualifying, it felt very, very good. Uh, I really enjoyed myself in qualifying there. Like I said, uh, with those cars uh, on that track, it felt crazy, crazy amount of speed we were carrying through those corners. So it felt good. I was happy with my laps also. I had a good confidence, good rhythm on the track. So I, I was happy with the qualifying in Mugello. Then going into race, uh, had a, a quite good start. I recovered three places and um, and then I was running in the points all the time and uh, there was a lot of crazy events going behind me. Unfortunately, not in front of me, but uh, nevertheless, um, we had two red flags during the race. So every time standing start, a lot of concentration, a lot of risk, again, that something might go wrong. However, um, everything was clean. Everything uh, was executed well from myself and from the team regarding strategy. And uh, we did a clean race and we finished in seventh place. And I was very pleased with that. Uh, a lot of valuable points for the team in the championship. And, uh, and we finished in front of our rivals for the Constructors' Championship. So I'm quite happy with the race in Mugello.